Over the 25 years that I have been at Cadence, I have had the privilege of working on Cadence's analog design environment tools, watching them evolve from rudimentary to exceptional. Over those years, we have learned a lot about how our customers want to use the tools to facilitate their day-to-day -day jobs. With IC617, we were able to take the next significant step for analog design automation. Our approach this time was to center the tools around specific tasks within the design cycle. The new baseline tool, called the Virtuoso ADE Explorer, is targeted to that part of the design cycle when the engineer is just getting the circuit up and running. It is designed for ease of use and performance on a single test. Once the block is working, it's time to test it under a multitude of conditions, along with its interactions with the other blocks in the design. That's where the Virtuoso ADE Assembler comes to play. Here, an extensive set of analyses can be applied to push the blocks and the overall design to its limits. It takes its visual cues from our Virtuoso Analog Design Environment, Excel, so no new learning is required. But it is far more tightly coupled to the Virtuoso ADE Explorer, making movement back and forth between the two tools for specific and detailed debugging procedures really a snap. We also have a variation option available for the Virtuoso ADE Assembler, where we have added some sophisticated variation analyses for advanced FinFET designs, and we are pleased that it has been signed off by a leading foundry. To complete the design cycle, we have added a new tool to the lineup, the Virtuoso ADE Verifier, which provides both a tool and a methodology to tackle full electrical design verification. This tool is designed for someone who needs to make sure that all the blocks from all the engineers are coalescing into a single design that meets all of the intended architectural specifications. This third area is sometimes accomplished today by using manual methods, incorporating spreadsheets or perhaps even homegrown scripts. But there's a disconnect in these methods versus the actual design status. When you have a disconnect during final verification, you have the possibility of making design mistakes that can cause a respin. I believe as our customers discover all they can accomplish with the new tools, they will be pleased with this next step in the evolution of analog design, brought to you by the company that has led in this industry space for the last quarter of a century.